this week on Your Newsroom. Downtown Statesboro hosted their first Friday event, the Downtown Paul Walk. This is a story you don't want to miss. Fixing the Borough held their monthly adoption event last weekend to raise money for their shelter and clinic. Our cameras were there. Pickleball has become increasingly popular in Statesboro with over 600 players last month, tripling January's. If it matters to you, it matters to us. And it all starts right now. Hey everyone, welcome to your newsroom. I'm Kiwan Humphreys. And I'm Elise Taylor. The City of Statesboro held their monthly First Friday event, the Doggy Paw Walk, Friday evening. The City of Statesboro held their monthly First Friday event, the Doggy Paw Walk, Friday evening. The community came together to enjoy the event with the dog costume contest and locally owned and operated businesses. I really like First Friday because it gets me out of the house with my dog and it gives us an opportunity to be in a really fun environment and it's just really easy to get to because I live right down the street. The first Friday event featured over 50 dogs either in the costume contest or just to have a good time at the Paw Walk. Yeah, we benefit Statesboro by just being a part of our community. We're, we love our community more than anything. Um, and I think we have a lot to be proud of at the moment, not just for Statesboro, but for Tormenta. The City of Statesboro hosts their monthly first Friday event on the first Friday of the month for a community gathering. I'm DeAndre Harris reporting for your newsroom. The community really showed up and showed out with a huge turnout. They're already looking forward to the next event in April. For more information, please check out www.statesborodowntown.com. Fixing the Borough's Spring Fling Adoption Event hosted multiple local sponsors and vendors to show off some of their adoptable pets. Ashley Watts was there and filed this report. Each month, Fixing the Borough hosts a community adoption event to bring awareness to the shelter. Last week, their spring fling attracted locals looking for a new family member. The shelter says this was their largest ever turnout for an event. With hot dogs, drinks, Girl Scout cookies, and a bounce house for the little ones, it is clear the event was a hit with the community. Local business Goth Glam Jewelry was a vendor at the event, and the owner tells me that she's been working with Fixing the Borough for about a year and donates a portion of her profits to the shelter. According to Fixing the Borough, the event served its purpose, and six animals found their forever homes. Reporting in Statesboro, I'm Ashley Watts, your newsroom. To view all the adoptable animals through Fixing the Burrow, visit their website at fixingtheburrow.com. Pickleball has become more popular over the past few months, especially here in Statesboro. Here's a closer look. Pickleball is a sport that combines tennis, badminton, and ping pong. These games can be played both indoor and outdoors. Pickleball is played with a paddle and plastic balls. Pickleball's rise in the sports world has been meteoric around the country. Several cities around the country have planned on building more pickleball courts to accommodate the amount of players in their area. I stopped by one of the courts to talk to some of the people that were there. There's a great age range of people down here at the courts, and it's just fun how people um, let you play with people that you don't know. Everybody kind of rotates out, and it's just very friendly and very fun. Pickleball was originally viewed as an old people's sport, but it has become very popular among college students as well. I was listening to a station where I'm a cousin, so uh, I, don't no more. I don't play football or baseball no more, so I, I like to stay active and work out a lot, so I'm playing pickleball cardio. Pickleball can be fun for all ages. Several people come out to the courts multiple times a week. There are a few courts in Statesboro, including one at Fair Road Park. This has been Kiwan Humphreys reporting in Statesboro, your newsroom. Kiwan, you went out to the courts. Were you able to play a little bit of pickleball? I played a couple of games with the people out there, but it was hard keeping up with the pros. But I can see how everyone loves it. If you're interested in learning more about pickleball, you can do so by visiting usapickleball.com. Before we go, here's some events around Statesboro this week that you don't want to miss. Today at 4.30, you can celebrate the Holy Festival of Colors on Georgia Avenue with food, activities, music, and cultural performances. Later tonight, you can kick off spring break with the University Programming Board for a chance to win giveaways, play games, and eat food. And finally, tomorrow, you can check out the Lisa D. Watson exhibit with multi-layered art centered around the human impact on nature. Thank you for joining us this week for your latest updates. We encourage you to connect with us on social media at your underscore newsroom. For now, 
for Kiwan, and for all of us at your newsroom. I'm Elise Taylor. We'll see you next week.